Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's my follow-up video on QPR2 Beta 1 to show you even more features that I missed to mention in my previous video. But before starting, please consider subscribing to get notified about my upcoming videos and also support the channel. So without further ado, let's jump in. The first thing I want to show you is the new Linux terminal that should allow developers to run Linux apps on Android. To access this feature, head over to settings and then system and then developer options and look for a toggle called Linux development environment. Once you turn on the toggle, you will find the terminal app in your list. Unfortunately, the app is currently not functional, but at least we know that Google is working on this feature. The second new change is the updated kernel for the Pixel 6 models and later. And if you want to check your version, head over to settings and then about phone and then tap on Android version. And you'll find here on the 8 Pro, it's 6.1.99. As per Android authority, the Tensor G1 and G2 powered pixels were running Linux 5.10, while Tensor G3 was running 5.15. And for reference, when I compare the version to my Pixel 9 Pro, not having QPR2 beta 1, you'll see here that the version number is lower. I have 6.1.84, while now I have 6.1.99. If you want to know more about the benefits you might get with the new kernel update, I'm gonna leave this article link in the description to take a look. Change number three is related to the new modes feature. In my previous video, I forgot to show you how you can delete or rename a custom build mode. All you need to do is to tap on the ellipses at the top right corner and you'll find the two options over here. And if you are running QPR2 beta 1 and have a mouse connected to your phone or tablet like I do, now you can customize the cursor color. All you need to do is to head over to your system settings and then you will find the touchpad settings over here and then you have pointer and touchpad accessibility and then we have pointer color customization. This one will give you multiple options like green, red, pink, and blue. You also have the ability to choose the stroke color. You have black or white or none. Some of you also complained about the removal of the new charging limit feature that we currently have on the stable version and also on QPR1 beta 3. And I found myself impacted with the same issue and I'm back again to the normal adaptive charging feature. But when I compare this to my Pixel 9 Pro XL running QPR1 beta 3, I still have the charging optimization option available. Another small visual tweak is under settings and then sound and vibration and then vibration and haptics and then adaptive charging. You will see this new graphical representation for the feature, which is different from the previous one. But this new change is not exclusive to this build because I found the same on QPR1 beta 3. One more tweak I spotted in QPR1 and QPR2, when you edit your quick setting styles and then tap on any of them, you will see this new border around the tile when you tap on it. I'm not sure why this feature is useful, but anyways, we have it. But when you compare this to the stable version of Android 15, you will see here that we don't have this border around the tile. One last thing I want to mention is a fix for a bug I mentioned in my previous video. I'm not sure why it got fixed, maybe after a device restart or an app update, but now when I tap on the media controls, it opens the relevant app as expected. And that's also the case on QPR1 Beta 3. Before moving to the next chapter, let me remind you about the Wallpapers by In-Depth Thick Reviews app. If you like any of the wallpapers I use in my videos, that's where you can find them. I release 12 new wallpapers every week. It provides you with multiple styling options like the blur, brightness, and hue to make your wallpapers stand out. With the ability to edit your home and lock screen wallpapers separately, sync your favorites across all your devices, and more. The Google Play Store download link is in the description. And now let's move on to the next feature. So what about the performance of QPR2 Beta 1? From my experience on the Pixel 8 Pro, I didn't have any major issues while digging into the OS to check the new features. The scrolling is perfect. The app launching speed is great. I didn't face any major bugs. So I think it's good enough for your daily driver, but take my words with a grain of salt because that's my experience only on the 8 Pro and each device has its own conditions. 
And when it comes to the battery life, I don't have anything solid to say because this phone is not my daily driver anymore. But if you are curious, I can show you my battery usage. Here I have two hours of screen on time and I lost 18%. This phone doesn't have a SIM card and I'm connected to the Wi-Fi all the time. My display brightness is set to a fixed value of 57%. So I don't think there is a massive improvement when it comes to the battery life. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the features I missed to mention in my previous video. Please let me know in the comments if you have even more. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.